everyone! Today, we are going to be talking about confirmation bias and how it can affect our perception of information. So let's start off with a short activity from Ed Surge. It's kind of like Mad Libs, but instead I want you to actually fill in words that would make the passage make sense. So fill in the words that you think might actually go there. You can either use the worksheet linked down below or you can just use a pen and paper. So here's the passage. Go ahead and take a few minutes to fill it out. Okay, great. Now that we've filled that out, let's take a look at what was originally written in that New York Times article. All children are capable of success, but we cannot expect all students to achieve when far too many are climbing stairwells with broken handrails and missing steps, tripping and falling as they work to keep up, while others are zooming up on elevators. Equitably funded schools run by visionary educators, buttressed by strong local, state, and national educational policies that center the entire context of students' lives, will be the ones to improve the academic mastery of America's most economically vulnerable vulnerable children. They demand multiple solutions, deep investment, and political will. So how is what you wrote different from the original article? Why do you think that is? One reason that the words you wrote in are different from those of the original authors is because you have a certain idea of what schools look like and what students' behavior looks like. So you will naturally find words to make the passage fit with what your idea of schooling is. This can be considered an example of confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is the tendency to process information by looking for or interpreting information that is consistent with one's existing beliefs. This means that we are going to use our prior knowledge and ideas and apply them to whatever new information or situations we are presented with. So our past experiences influence how we interpret new situations. So what do you think? Is this a good thing or a bad thing? And why would our brains do this? Well, an article from Britannica found that one explanation for why humans are susceptible to confirmation bias is that it is an efficient way to process information. Humans are bombarded with information in the social world and cannot possibly take the time to carefully process each piece of information to form an unbiased conclusion. This means it's much easier for our brain to understand something when we can try and fit it in with the categories we already have in our head. Our brain then looks for qualities and words that confirm the ideas that we already have in our mind. This can show up in a lot of different ways. For instance, if you have certain political beliefs, you are going to look for facts and data that support those political beliefs. And if we are presented with something that doesn't align with our political beliefs, we might be quicker to dismiss it as false or fake. If we're told that someone was super nice and friendly before we meet them, then we're going to treat them way differently if we'd been told that they were mean. We then would be looking for qualities and behaviors that align with the information we had already been told, rather than judging them only based off of the interactions we had with them. Confirmation bias plays a role in all of our lives, as well as how we interpret and judge information, but it can actually have really serious consequences. For instance, if a doctor already thinks that they know what is wrong with a patient, they might be quick to dismiss certain results or not call for certain tests. This might lead to a misdiagnosis. Or if a judge has certain ideas about what kind of person the accused is, they might then look for information that confirms that they are either innocent or guilty to align with their original belief. Hopefully this activity and reflection gives you a better understanding of what confirmation bias is and how we perceive the world around us and judge information. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel for new videos every week. You are all brilliant. Thanks everyone.